One of the biggest myths of shooting product photos with your smartphone is the notion that you can't get layers of great shallow depth of field. Well, today we're gonna completely bust that myth right open. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that's gonna give you amazing shallow depth of field and layers of depth in your product shots with your smartphone. Let's do this. What is going on? It's Anna. A few weeks ago, I had a party here at my house and my wife picked up this cold brew liqueur. And I thought this would be the perfect product to do a product photography tutorial for you guys. And I'm gonna show you how you can get shallow depth of field in your foreground and your background, all with your smartphone. And make sure you stick around because I'm gonna be editing these photos in Lightroom Mobile and you're gonna wanna see that. Right, let's jump straight into that photo shoot I did. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is the background and foreground separation. So this is the table we're using today for our photo shoot. You want to get as long a table as you can. This is the longest I can fit in this room. But in order to get those depths, you're going to have to have foreground and your background. And you want to get your product somewhere around here. There you go. That's about the position I'm going with. Because we're shooting with a smartphone, it's going to be even more difficult to get shallow depth of field in the background. So the longest table you can find, the better. You want to get those props as far away from your product as possible. Missing one important step to the puzzle, and that is the lighting. Now I normally use natural light, but today I want a lot more control over my lighting, and the photo shoot's gonna go straight into the night, so I need a reliable light. Today's lighting choice is an awesome compact light from Cobalt. And this model right here is the CL60R RGB Cob Light, 60 watt power, and it's light, 600 grams. I wanna get amazing soft light over this product setup, so I'm gonna pair this Cob Light with a 65 centimeter soft box with a honeycomb grid. Let's go. Now we're gonna angle this light down on the right side of that product. Now we're ready to shoot some product photography. Ah, right, so we're gonna have to build up that background and I wanna keep that background simple, but I want lots of texture. So I found this firewood and I'm gonna build up the background with this firewood over here. I also found these coffee logs and it's gonna go really well with the theme that I've got with this product shot. <laughs> Right, so you can see here now that we are building out that background. We've got that wood, lots of texture at the back there. And it's not too distracting. It's a good enough distance away from the product. So we're gonna get some depth and the telephoto is gonna compress that even more. Right, we've got some props here. You gotta have props, man. I found this old looking coffee maker in an antique shop. So I'm gonna use that somewhere in the foreground. And I saw this, it was pretty cool. Look at this little coffee grinder, man. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this because the colors don't work with the branding, but we might have to sort that out when we do some editing, but I've got to try and use this coffee beans. And we're going to kind of spill out those coffee beans here and get some depth and in layers into our photo shoot. Okay, so we've got our scene set up here. Look, we've got our main star of the show right there and then we've got our foreground elements and the good thing about this composition is those leading lines look at that trail of coffee all the way to that coffee cold brew liqueur it's drawing you into it so you can see you've got your background over there we've got everything in place and i've got my secret weapon and that's this glass and we're going to use this glass to add in some out of focus elements later on when we do the shoot. Okay, full disclosure, I actually got that glass trick from one of Peter McKinnon's videos, but I've got to say it works well with smartphone photography. Thanks, Pete. Right, the 
our next tip is to create depth of field with a telephoto lens. Because the sensors on these phones are so small, getting shallow depth of field is really difficult. That's where a telephoto lens can help. So for this shoot, I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro Max and I'm pairing it up with this Reflex 60 millimeter telephoto lens. I've also got the Reflex CPL filter on here. It's a little secret weapon. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use that because we've got some reflective surface on the glass on this coffee liqueur. If you're interested in any of the reflex gear, man, I'll make sure I'll link those below. Right, you can see here we're ready to go. Got the pro camera app from Reflex all set up ready. I've dialed in all my settings, manual focus. Got my shutter speed at around one over 47, ISO in and around the 500. Everything is looking really good and crisp and sharp. So we're ready to take some photos. I can see here at the moment, composition isn't quite where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna move this coffee pot in slightly and also this grinder i want to move that in slightly as well there we go i think that's now i want to get some more separation on that background so i'm going to take one of these liber lights warm setting and i'm going to put it behind the bottle look at that it makes all the difference i'm going to take a little test photo one thing you're gonna notice here, there is some reflections on the beans at the front here. This is where the CPL filter comes in. So if I start to turning that filter now, you will notice that those beans in the front, the highlights have disappeared. And also at the top of that coffee liqueur, you can see that the highlights have dumbed down slightly. And that is looking perfect so that was a great start we've got some great shots this composition worked really really well but i want to get something a bit more simpler and i'm going to change the hue on this light there we go now we're going to go for a different look with this and we're going to clean this up a little bit i'm going to remove this prop from here i'm going to keep that prop because i'm going to be using my secret weapon the glass and we're going to get some out of focus elements in our shots so as you can see we've got a completely different look and feel a much cooler scene here i've still got one prop on the left and i'm going to use the glass now to get some out of focus elements at the front here on the right so if i move this glass over you can see wow look at that i can start snapping some photos changing the angles slightly moving that glass around you can pretty much go any way you want with it i'm actually going to remove this coffee pot and try and go for a much simpler product shot spread these beans out a little bit there we go look at that simple shot i'm going to take one there we go everything is locked in and i'm thinking you know what in post-production i might get some cool mist over that bottle just to give it a different look a different variation yeah i'm happy with that now it's time to find a quiet room to edit your photos just you your phone and your creative mind let's go let's start by straightening up this image yeah that looks about right happy with that let's go over to light let's adjust that curve now I do love a little bit of an S curve. Let's muddy up those blacks and those whites. Hmm, yeah, that's looking good. Let's play around there. Bit of contrast in there, shadows. Yeah, let's adjust those whites a bit more. What about those blacks? Yeah, let's play around with those blacks. I told you, put your dirty pants in the laundry basket. Man, she's always bossing me around, man. Who does she think she is? Right, let's get back to our edit. Let's move over to effects. Gonna play around with a texture. I have to play around with this clarity. Hmm. Bit of vignette on there. Draw into the subject. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks good. Sharpen up that image now. Bit of detail and a sharpness. Yes. Man, and I'm good. Let's adjust those optics there. Pretty standard. 
Right, let's do some cool stuff, man. Select the subject. Not too bad. Okay for what I want, I guess. I'm going to increase the sharpness. Make those letters pop. Let's adjust some of that highlights and exposure, maybe. Yes, now it's looking good. Right, let's add in a linear gradient here. I'm going to background's looking a little bit lighter. Right, so let's, let's put that in. Let's exclude the subject from our mask. Oh, I love Lightroom Mobile. Let's pull down that exposure. That's looking good. Shadows, maybe? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yes. Oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Let's do a bit of color gray, a bit of blue in those shadows. Yeah, maybe some greens in those mid-tones. Yeah, that's about right. Yes, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right, let's export this into Photoshop Mix. Select our photo. Right, let's add in some mist, some cool mist. Yes, that's the wrong way. Let's flip that around. Move it up a little bit. It's too intense, but let's just position that first. Now we can adjust the intensity. That's about right. That is looking good. Oh yes, let's export that. That is done. Oh, ready for that. Okay, this photo is a little bit more tricky. Let's get that curve right. S curve. I love a little bit of S curve. Muddy up those blacks and whites. Right, let's quickly go through all the standard basic edits. Okay, now let's play with those colors because this is going to get tricky. Blues in those shadows, greens in those mid-tones. I'm loving that look for this particular product shoot. Let's now change some of these colors because that red text is not matching that turquoise. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shift those reds over to the orange side. It's looking a little bit goldy. Let's reduce some of the saturation maybe. Play well with the luminous. Right, now that is looking good. We've got this golden teal color going on. I'm happy with that. Let's select the subject. Brighten up that label. Man, this is looking good. Yes, I'm going to sharpen it up a little bit as well. We are done. was a long shoot guys a full day effort and those edits came out brilliantly don't forget like subscribe and you know check out this video over here as well and i'll see you in the next one